Okay, so the uh, food has been received, um, this offerings have been made, and uh, uh, what uh, uh, Ajahn Kurundamo will lead the community in a, uh, a formal uh, taking leave ceremony, and uh, which is uh, in the uh, taking the uh, um, say, asking for forgiveness is a traditional way of of doing that, so that people can. If you know the, uh, if you know the uh, uh, ceremony, please join in. Uh, if not, then to join in the spirit of it. It's a uh, an opportunity for. Uh, both, because uh, it's as a beginnings and endings are are always helpful to start with a clean slate, and uh, asking for forgiveness is a wonderful way of of showing respect and offering offering respect and gratitude. So. Ahang kamami tum hehi pime kamitabang. Kamabate. Te atalanda sukita wilulha bunda sa sane aroka sukita ho tasaha sambe hinya tepe sambe bunda. Balam panta banche kananja yang balang. Arahanta nanja teje. Narakang banda misamba so by body, speech, or mind for any wrong actions that you might have done toward me, I offer my uh, forgiveness to you uh, by body, speech, or mind for any wrong uh, or unskillful action that I may have done toward any of you. Um, please, I ask for forgiveness from you by body, speech, or mind uh, for any uh, wholesome action uh, that you have done, I offer my anomoto and delight and encouragement uh, to you for, for that skillfulness uh, by body, speech, or mind uh, for any skillful, wholesome action that I have done. Uh, may I dedicate the merit blessings that come from that for your growth and, and development in in this dis dhamma and discipline of the of the Buddhas, may you uh, flourish and grow in in wisdom, in peace, and in in and in insight. Sadhu.
please take your seats. <clears throat> you can stay there. <laughs> okay, so um, today is the uh, occasion for uh, rolling a few things into into one uh, uh, occasion, one ceremony, uh, early birthday, um, I keep getting older, so I keep having birthdays, um, and uh, sort of roll that into one today. Uh, my uh, departing, leaving uh, for a period of time, extended retreat, um, also stepping down uh, as the uh, um, abbot, uh, although there isn't actually a, a word for abbot in the in the uh, the Buddhist tradition, in terms of the Pali tradition, scriptural language, um, and uh, um, and the uh, uh, kind of passing on the baton to Ajahn Krunadamo, Ajahn Yaniko, uh, they will be. Uh, taking up the uh, leadership position uh, in uh, Adabai Giri, and uh, and of course it's a uh, uh, that that uh, um, is a uh, 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 occasion for um, uh, yeah kind of delight uh, for me anyway. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So there might be room for debate on other people's <laughs> part, <laughs> but, but uh, uh, you know, I, I, the the uh, uh, I have been an abbot of a monastery for 36 years, and uh, by any standard, I think that's a long time, <laughs> and uh, uh, to be able to uh, step down and to to uh, pass those um, duties, responsibilities on uh, is is really important, and uh, also to do it at a time when because I'm, I'm I do plan to come back. I sort of, sort of, I mean, I tease people sort of, oh, you know, okay, goodbye forever, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the plan is is definitely to, to return. Uh, but to come back in a more of a position of, say, like mentorship or um, um, as a, uh, a support for the community, um, a general. Uh, I said wrote that to somebody re- uh, the other day just as a general cheerleader. Uh, <laughs> um, also wrote to a very. A close friend of mine who I grew up with. Uh, be, I'll come back in the position of resident old fart. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> you have a name, you're coming up with something a bit more illustrious. <laughs> <but> <laughs> We're calling it guiding elder. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, um, but that, yeah, that uh, it is a it's a good opportunity for uh, change and necessary and and uh, you know I think it's uh, uh, important to recognize uh, the you know what say what a Bhagiri is is a, uh, a a place for the cultivation of the refuges of Buddha Dhamma and Sangha and uh, to be able to. Um, Keep that in a in a, a prime importance, uh, say as opposed to any I- individual, uh, myself included. Uh, that the uh, uh, what is important is that that uh, this these refuges uh, that are so traditional, uh, the the kind of the bedrock 
of the uh, of the Buddha's uh, dispensation is that they, you know, that, that having these these things to turn to, to recollect, to take as treasures. This is something that the uh, ratana. The ratana is a, a jewel, a treasure. So having a treasure of 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 the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha, uh, having the um, uh, that as and they say the refuges as a refuge, uh, Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. So it's in uh, it's uh, from the the time of the Buddha. It's never been set up that that there was a sort of an individual person who was the uh, um, uh, kind of the the focal point. And I think that's one of the reasons why Buddhism has survived for so long in a, in a really healthy fashion because uh, there's a, uh, you know just looking at things in terms of a historical perspective there's always um, say times of flourishing and there's times of of degeneration i think the buddha uh, was as a fully awakened being he understood that and planted the seeds of regeneration of the the, the the teaching and the dispensation within within the uh, within is what we say with the dhamma vinya the teaching and the training and so that's something that is available to all of us and you know at, at any time and we have these uh, the, the the and that's when when the uh, say on the on the Buddha's deathbed it was ananda and I said, "Wow, well, you know, here, he, here he is, the the, the Tathagata, the the, uh, the leader, uh, taking leave of us and passing away. And who's going to be the leader now?" And the Buddha, was, kind of, he's on his deathbed, and so, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I never was the the leader. While I was here, it's the, the, it's this teaching and this training that is the is the uh, is a prime importance, and so that's what will lead the community in the future. And this is that's, that's the Buddha's vision, and so that for uh, all of us, whether the monastics or the the uh, lay lay community, uh, to be drawing close to that. That, that the the teaching and the training. How do I deepen my connection with that? That the the, the teachings and the and the way to to train, uh, and and that that's the that's the ongoing, um, well, it's kind of ongoing question, ongoing search, uh, and it certainly that's one of the the things that you know for me. You know, people ask me, "What am I going to be doing on retreat?" And you know, really, what I'm going to be doing on retreat is, uh, hopefully, uh, a continuing deepening of my understanding and living of this dhamma and vinaya, this teaching and this training, uh, so that that's a, uh, you know, for all of us, this is this is really our refuge, and and uh, to be able to uh, to to take that on and to make that very conscious, and uh, and one of the you know, thinking uh, yesterday, I was uh, speaking and uh, to a conversation and and uh, reflecting on on the. Uh, um, you know, say the, the 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 arriving of Buddhism in America, and the say the establishing of of Abhayagiri as a as a as a monastery, and uh, um, you know, sort of my hope of um, when say when say the history of Buddhism. In America, starts to be written, and that that uh, and and re- in in retrospect, uh, that uh, uh, you know, Abhayagiri is a is is in that is in that history. 
200 years from now, 300 years from now, 400 years from now. And what's going to be rem remembered is not individuals, but the, the quality of, of the community uh, that, that lived here and practiced. And, and that's, that's everybody uh, looking after the, that quality of practice and quality of, of, uh, of intention. And so that 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 sense. I mean, it's, it's it, of course it's it's delightful to come together and share um, um, a birthday and to share um, even a, a parting for um, a time. Uh, but also, it's I think it's a really it's a good occasion to to look beyond, say, ourselves as individuals. And look, oh, well, how, how to, how to, to support and be a part of, of the, uh, uh, this, this, putting down roots of practice for, our our own personal growth and maturing, uh, and the uh, the growth of of the, uh, uh, of, the uh, of the community into the future, and that's, uh, of course, uh, Ajahn uh, Kurundamo, Ajahn Yaniko. Uh, are up at the top of the line there. Um, they'll be um, taking responsibility, but it's also, uh, say, the the responsibility of of the rest of the monastic community and the and the lay community to be, uh, yeah, guarding and protecting the 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 integrity of, of practice and the integrity of. Of one's uh, uh, commitment to to training, because uh, these yeah these teachings are, are are really precious. There's not many teachings in the world that actually lead to uh, a sense of peace and and liberation and uh, and real clarity uh, of being. Uh, uh, they. Uh, uh, and the, the way mm, life is lived, mostly in the world, is just more, is kind of confusing. And uh, yeah, to be able to, to pick up those teachings and to support each other as kalyanamitta, that, that sense of uh, maintaining one's good spiritual friendships, and uh, and that that is, uh, you know, that's a blessing for oneself, it's a blessing for others that you come in contact with and, and you develop your connections with, with each other. So that's, that's something that is, is, uh, you know, is an important uh, aspect of this. And so, just today I'd just like to express my uh, appreciation um, all to the monastic community for being uh, yeah, a, a, a really solid community and uh, um, giving me the, the, the support and uh, 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 encouragement to, to keep on teaching and leading and some, you know there's a um, Without that kind of um, yeah commitment, and then, and if I if if you because I'm you know, I'm sure there's you know, some what's the point of bothering to teach these people they don't listen they don't do anything and and but that isn't the case you know just so that that uh, and similarly with the lay community and the, the lay community is as I mean, here in America, it's very diverse and, and spread out. Uh, and, you know, some people don't have the opportunity to get here that often. But, uh, uh, yeah, Abhayagiri has, has uh, uh, provided a, a kind of a, a touchstone or a, a, an anchor for many, many people. And uh, to be able to continue that and for the, the lay community to continue to support the Sangha and to support each other and, and in, in your in your training. So that's something that is a great source of delight. That's a, in terms of a birthday present, 
that's for a senior monk, that's a really great birthday present. <laughs> so that people coming and and uh, and uh, and seeing, you know, that 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 yeah, that commitment, that integrity of uh, of uh, interest, uh, that that uh, it's a real delight to see. So just as an encouragement to continue uh, one's practice and continue the connection, um, and just to uh, be yeah, be plugging in. As I said, my my purpose isn't to to uh, to disappear and and uh, sort of okay, I'm finally out of here. I don't have to see those people again. Uh, it's my <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's just to be able to leave and have a break from from duties and responsibilities and have have time for for uh, uh, kind of a. a a more individual and personal practice, uh, but uh, you know the goal is to is to be able to return and and be supportive to the community in the future. So I'd just like to take this opportunity to you know, just express my uh, appreciation for everybody and uh, uh, wish everybody uh, just a, a sense of. Um, um, to continue to grow and, and develop and mature in this path. And it's for the, it's one of the things that the Buddha uh, said in terms of, of, of this practice being of benefit for oneself and a benefit uh, for, for others, uh, just Anamotana. And we'll offer a formal blessing. Yatha arivaha pula palipolendi sakarang eva me veto tinang peta nang upakapati itchi tang bati tang tum hang kipa me was a michato sape porendu sangapa chanto panaraso yadha mani chotiraso yatha Will go out and uh, re- 
put their food in their bowls, receive the um, offerings, and uh, they'll go over to the monastic dining hall. Um, they invite the lay people to just sit quietly. Uh, after everybody's received their food, they'll tap the bell, and uh, uh, then the lay community can go out and uh, receive your food. Um, please let the uh, uh, eight preset lay people who are living in the monastery take their food first. Um, and then uh, help yourselves. I'm sure there's more than enough food for everybody. And uh, there's a variety of places, tables and chairs, breezeway, porch, out here. Down below there's more tables and chairs and space down there for people to eat, join together, uh, enjoy the company of good spiritual friends. Uh, two o'clock, uh, there we'll have our regular Sunday program uh, with uh, chanting, meditation, and we have a special Dhamma speaker here today, Ajahn Sujito. Uh, that's my birthday present. <laughs> I, get, I, get, I get to hear a talk by Ajahn Sujito. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah, so and I'll, I'll be around. Uh, speak with people during that time. Okay.